driving a race car is focus. I mean, what happened 10 milliseconds ago, it's gone. You're gonna focus on what's coming up. I've been always been a person that really can focus on the job at hand. In race car driving, is, it was just another example of that. David Cutler grew up playing sports in his hometown of DeWitt, Michigan, and was awarded a scholarship to Olivet College. But when injuries cut his football career short, Cutler is forced to reevaluate his future. And so I'm really not sure what I really want to do, but I think I really like math and I like physics, and I'm a, a hands-on kind of person that likes to build things, so I really think that I would like to have some kind of an engineering job somewhere. In 1965, Cutler accepts a job at DuPont, where he's tasked with developing a model for Scott Paper Company's new foam production process. Cutler learns an event-driven, block-oriented language called GPSS3 and builds the model on an IBM 7044. Partway through the building of the model, I got really interested in, in more about how the computer worked than how the, the model worked. Operating systems really interested me, and you know, I don't know why I decided that, boy, that was the way I wanted to go, but it was really the way I wanted to go. And I thought, well, if I really want to maximize my value to a company, and I want to be in the operating system business, I ought to go to a company that builds computers. So I arranged an interview with Digital in um, Nader, Massachusetts, and lo and behold, they hired me. So <laughs> off to Digital I went. In 1971, Cutler is recruited to work on RSX-11, a series of real-time operating systems for DEX PDP-11 mini-computer. He embarks on a two-year project, leading an eight-person team to deliver a faster, smaller, multi-user system known as RSX-11M. So with RSX-11M, we wanted to build a much smaller system, and, and I kind of figured out right off the bat that the only way to do that was we give everybody a budget. So everybody had a budget about how much memory they could use. Generally, everybody meant their budget. And so to kind of reinforce that, every, I had this rubber stamp made that says size is the goal. And everything was stamped with size is the goal. In April 1975, Deck realizes it needs a 32-bit computer to stay even with the competition. After his success with RSX-11M, Cutler is tapped to develop the VMS operating system for Deck's new VAX-11780 Super Mini Computer. Quality has to be something that's inborn in everybody at the lowest level. And any link in the lowest level that doesn't produce a quality piece produces bugs up the, up the line because they interact with other pieces of the system. And the day we shipped VMS, uh, we had zero known bugs. Disenchanted with the corporate culture at DEX East Coast headquarters, Cutler decides it's time for a change. In 1981, he establishes DEC West with a small engineering team in Bellevue, Washington. By 1988, Cutler is ready to start his own company. With nearly a million dollars in seed money, Cutler's new venture appears to be taking shape. That is, until he meets with Microsoft's Steve Ballmer. Steve is, is such an energetic guy and, and um, a positive thinker. And so he starts the sales job, and um, I guess the best way thing you'd say is he fleeced us. <laughs> because by the time we left, we're all ready to sign up. And you know, I like I quit on Friday and joined Microsoft on Monday. We had this thing that ran on DOS that was a um, a layer. It just it was a program that ran on top of DOS. It was called Windows. We did Windows 1.0. The industry said ho hum. We did Windows, uh, Windows 2.0, the industry said ho-hum. We did Windows 3.0, the, the industry said ho-hum. We did Windows 3.1, we sold 16 million copies in six months. It was like unbelievable. So Bill says, hmm, I guess our major, our main operating environment will not be OS 2 anymore, it will be Windows. Windows NT has formed the basis for every major Windows-based operating system since 1993 and became the mainstay for all of Microsoft's subsequent Windows systems. Let me tell you, it's all NT. There is nothing that's not NT. Win, Win 10 is NT. It's all the same stuff. It's an evolution of the same code base going all the way back to 1988. 
a couple of us decided that we'd go work on the Xbox. And the irony of working on the Xbox is, is I once sent Steve Bomber a piece of mail that said, Steve, I got an idea. Why don't we take that million dollars a week that we're losing on Xbox and take it out in the parking lot on Friday night and have a bonfire and roast hot dogs and, and marshmallows. We can take the people that were working on that and put them on things that'll really produce some good stuff and we'll save all that money. So here I am, some year later, I'm over on the dark side. You think of the Xbox is just virtualization, but it's really not because all this is the operating system, which we call Hydra, because you actually can be running a game and viewing live TV at the same time or even Skyping and not having them interfere with each other. Everything that I've done throughout my career, um, I've always been a very hands-on person. Um, I can't just stand back and say, you know, this is what we're going to build. You guys go off and write the specs, um, and I'm going to manage you. I sort of become part of the team, and I look at myself as more of a leader than a manager. I have this little saying that the successful people in the world are the people that do the things that the unsuccessful ones won't. So I've always been this person that, you know, I, I will build the system. I will fix the bugs. I will fix other people's bugs. I will fix bug, uh, bill breaks. It's all in part of, of, um, of getting the job done.